Hi everyone, <laughs> today we're learning to recall our subtraction facts and we're going to be using our cherry models that you made yesterday for all of your addition facts to 20 to work out what the subtraction facts are. So here you can see a cherry model that I made, hopefully you've made uh, the same one on one of your cards. Here we've got the number 20, one part of 20 is 15 and the other part is 5. So you can see that 15 and 5 make 20 when they're put together. So in total, for 15 and 5, we have got 20. Twen imagine these are Skittles. We've got 15 Skittles on this side and 5 Skittles on this side. All together, we've got 20 Skittles. Now, if I've got 20 Skittles and I'm going to take away five of those, then what, hap what happens is we're left with the other part of the number, 15. As you can see, we've still got our 15 Skittles. If I've got my 20 Skittles back again, and this time I'm gonna take away this part of the number, so if I take away 15 Skittles, if I take away 15 Skittles, I'm going to be left with the other part, which is 5. So 20 take away 15 equals 5. So you can see we can use our cherry model to help us work out the facts. We know that we know that 15 add 5 equals 20. We know that 20 take away 15 equals 5 and 20 take away 5 equals 15. Let's have a look at this again but from this example. Here we've got 20. All together we have 20 Skittles. But they're ma that's made up of two different parts. We've got 12 red Skittles and 8 blue Skittles. So one part of the number 20 is 12 and another part is 8. 20 is made up of 12 and 8. If I've got 20 Skittles and I want to take away 12... Then I'm left with 8. 20 take away 12 equals 8. If I've got 20 Skittles and I want to take away 8 of them, let's say I've eaten 8 Skittles, then I'm left with 12. 20 take away 8 equals 12. So if I take away one of the parts, I'm left with the other part of the number, which is 12. I'm going to show this to you in um, a bar model now. This is just another way of showing the cherry model at the top. So here we've got 20 and it's made up of two parts, 12 and 8. 12 add 8 equals 20. 20 is the total. It's the total amount. If I want to take away one of these parts, then I'm going to be left with the other part. Let me show you. 20 take away 12. If I take away 12, what am I going to be left with? Shout it out now. That's right. It's 8. I've still got 8. 20 take away 12 equals 8. Let's try that again with the other part. If I've got 20 and I want to take away 8 this time, what am I going to be left with? Shout it out now. That's right. It's 12. I've still got 12. 20 take away 8 equals 12. 
So we can use our cherry models that you've created yesterday to create a fact family. We can create four different facts from this model. So let's start with our addition. What addition facts can we create from this model here? I know that 12 add 8 equals 20. I'm going to write that down. 12 add 8 equals 20. I know that addition is commutative. Can you tell somebody at home or tell the screen what commutativity means? Well done. Commutativity means when you can swap the numbers over and it doesn't change the answer. So we know that addition, we can do that. So I can, this time I can start with 8 and add 12 and I'm still going to get 20. Eight, add 12 equals 20. Now let's go on to our subtraction facts that we just learnt. 20 take away 8 equals 12. And we've got one more we can find. 20 take away 12 equals 8. So I've created a fact family of four facts based on that cherry model. What I would like you to do is go through all the cherry models that you made yesterday and write out your fact families. So four facts for each cherry model. Please could you do this on a different piece of paper or a different notebook, not underneath the cherry models that you made because you're going to be using those for the rest of the week to practice your facts. So do this separately, just as practice to use the cherry model to work out the answers. Well done, dragonflies and butterflies. I cannot wait to see all your wonderful fact families.